We ready. They hit us, they drill us. I got one from Compton. So if there's a problem, he run up like nigga was popping. I love all my niggas. Them niggas gorillas. They hit us, they drill us. So if there's a problem, I don't gotta pop them. My niggas, they got them. I love all my niggas. For this week's video, I wanted to do I wanted to do something about like conspiracy theories or something like that. Like something like interesting and deep, but Every single time I talk about like aliens and fucking shit like that and like conspiracies and shit that scares me, I cry. I don't know why. It's not that I'm sad, I just cry. And I don't, I literally can't talk about it without crying. So I was like, let's not do this. Maybe in the future I'll talk about it, you know, when I'm able to talk about it without crying. But for now, we're just gonna, we're just gonna stick to the basics for now this week i'm gonna do another story time because so many people have been giving me such positive feedback on my last story time <laughs> and i thought i would do another one yeah this one this one's is a bit of a doozy um okay so <laughs> this story is my worst experience with weed before i get this video started like i'm not anti-weed at all like i have after i still smoked after this incident is definitely just because i had a really low tolerance and i smoke way too much and i just it wasn't like it was all me like it had nothing to do with the weed and it was really like it was high grade weed like it was really high grade weed and i wasn't used to smoking it so <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna be my experience smoking, uh, I don't know if you've heard of it, it's called, actually you probably heard of it, most people know what it's called, it's called Blue Dream, and this shit just has such a distinct feeling to it for me, like it, and it affects everybody differently, so don't like watch this and be like, oh my god, I'm never gonna smoke this ever, like, you know, like there are pros and cons to everything, including weed, so you know read up on it if you're trying to smoke it like don't take anything from this video and be like ah oh, yeah you want to set it so it must happen for everybody like no weed affects everybody differently anyways i'm just gonna get right to it um <laughs> it seems like guadalupe is always the fucking source of my like bad experiences with alcohol and weed but okay so it starts off it was me, um, Guadalupe, <laughs> my other friend, Selena, from the last video, and one of my other friends, we're gonna call her Carson. I know these names are not, like, ideal, but, like, I'm just thinking them off the top of my head, so. It started off, this was, oh my god, I was so young. Oh my god, I was, like, I'm pretty sure, no, I'm pretty sure I was in 8th or ninth grade. And their parents left town, so... We were like, hey, let's have a party. Let's have a party. You know, because we were like fucking 12, 13. We didn't know what a fucking party was. We didn't know how to party. <laughs> I remember it was just me, Carson, and then Selena showed up. And then we didn't have anything. We didn't have any weed or anything. And then Guadalupe shows up with the weed. Yeah immediately she was just like my dealer said that this is like good shit like this is this is gonna fuck you up after like two hits like yeah like we're gonna be fucked up okay like shut up like <laughs> but um yeah she was like right off the bat she was like this shit is gonna fuck you up like you don't even know like this shit is so good i smoked it already like this shit is gonna be so good and, like i was ready like i was like into this i was like hell yeah bitch i'm about to get lit bitch hey hey yeah 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 but <laughs> i were like we're gonna wait until later like till it gets dark out to smoke it because you know because <laughs> we're fucking cool like <clears throat> it started getting dark out we were just hanging out having a good time you know listening to music and shit <sighs> my friend carson has this bong but it wasn't like it was not like one of those it was just like a little like mini one and it was like this big yay hi you know um the circumference was about like this 
I don't know. It was nice. It was a nice bong. Like it worked. It hit really nice and it gave really big hits. She didn't tell me, or she probably did tell me. I probably just wasn't listening. You don't have to light like you don't have to keep the lighter on the bowl for that long and so i was like as soon as the bong came to me i was like i'm a trooper like i had smoked maybe five five or six times before this night and <laughs> i thought i was an expert i knew everything there was to know about smoking weed and being hot so you know what a bitch did she fucking And then after that like I wasn't even that high like I was high but I wasn't like you know how high I thought it was gonna be like it wasn't kicked in like hadn't kicked in yet and I was like you know what fuck this shit like what this is some boof ass weed like what the fuck is this this is like my second hit and it comes around and I do the same thing for I'm pretty sure it was longer this time even after I was done lighting it I still had my mouth on it and I just kept inhaling more smoke because I forgot to take the thing out. And oh my god. And I just remember. Oh my god. That's when it hit me. That second hit is what took me and just put me out of life. Like I literally saw my life flash before my eyes. Not literally, but like, you know. So after that, I started to get really like I started to get really paranoid and I was just like what the fuck is going on? I was so high. Like, I'd never been that high before. And I just remember I would just like started like like I felt like a fucking crackhead. Like I started itching my head. I was like I was literally like I don't know if it was like a placebo effect or something like that, but I thought I started hearing voices like like I literally was like thought I heard like voices in my head and I was like and they were like whispering and it was like i was so scared and i was like just having like i was so paranoid and i was not having a good time at all the bong comes my way again mama didn't raise no bitch okay that's one thing i know for sure so i knew i was gonna take another fucking hit of that no matter how high it was because mama didn't raise no bitch I took another hit and that's where it all went downhill it, it was already starting to go downhill but this fucking thing that pushed it all the way down the hill i remember after i took that hit i just sat there and in my chair and i just anybody who knows who smokes weed knows that once you like smoke too much at a time you get that like headache i just sat there and i was like i gotta go pee I gotta go pee. Just, I sat on the toilet and I just waited. Like, when nothing was coming out, like, I w had to pee. Like, it was like I was pee shy, but there was nobody else there. So I sat there and I looked down at the ground and it's just, <laughs> I just puked. I puked all over the ground. <laughs> and it doesn't stop there, no. And I was not processing why I puked. And so I looked down, like, as if it was gonna, like, if I looked down, it was gonna whisper in my ear and tell me why the fuck I was puking. And I got a whiff of the fumes, and I puked again. And then, again, three times in about two seconds. It was fucking awful. But after I puked, I felt so, so, so much better. Like, I I came out in the bathroom, like, I just started dancing and shit. And I was like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I was not the only one who puked. <laughs> My friend Selena from the last video, the one who also puked in the last video, she, she puked too. She puked all over the floor. And me, Carson, and Guadalupe had to drag her to the shower so that she could wash the puke out of her hair. It's just, oh, it was awful. But I am so glad it happened that night and not on the night of the party because imagine that. Imagine fucking doing that with all those people there. Like, come on, bitch. Like, get your shit together. Get your shit together. And I'm not, I'm not, like, trash talking beat at all. Like, I, I still smoke occasionally. Like, I don't, smoke every day just because it's super expensive but i definitely still smoke like i still it's 
fun like i don't like i don't know like what the fuck this experience i know it was just because i was being a dumbass and like it has nothing to do with the weed like if you liked this video or want to hear more story times because honey trust me i have a lot more like i have a lot more story times what that came from honey um but yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe comment do whatever the fuck you want you know it's whatever but yeah um see you guys in the next video Damn, I'm so cute. Okay. <laughs> we out with this bitch.